As a new key account manager, you want to make a great first impression and set the stage for success. You know, start as you mean to continue. So in this video, we'll explore some game-changing moves you can make in your first 30 days to become an indispensable part of the team. Hello, heroes. I'm Mike Brown, your go-to cam coach, and I'm here to help you achieve outstanding results. In this 10-part series, 10, count them, we'll dive deep into the essential skills of key account management, from mastering client discovery to navigating the complex dynamics within your own organization. Today's all about mastering your first 30 days, so let's get into it. So first things first, you need to understand your roles and responsibilities. You need to get a, a good overview of your role as a key account manager. You're the bridge between your company and its most valuable clients. And your mission is to nurture these relationships, to drive growth and to drive profitability and retention. Now remember, these aren't just accounts, they're partnerships and they can make or break the success of your business. So now you've got a good handle on your role, what comes next? Well, you need to expand your assessment. You, know, you need to understand and get crystal clear on what your company expects from you, what your key accounts expect from you and what your company expects from your key accounts. What are your targets? What are your KPIs? Dig deep to understand the unique needs and goals of your clients. And that initial assessment is going to help set you up for success in your first 30, 60, 90 days and ongoing. Now you're all over your role, it's time to move on to part two, which is building strong foundations. You need to learn all about your accounts, conduct historical data analysis, you know, interview, well, interview, have conversations with key stakeholders internally and externally, and conduct your own research to quickly understand your key accounts and what their business drivers are. Next up, you need to build strong relationships with team members in other departments like sales, marketing, customer service. This collaboration is essential for you to get things done and to provide the best possible service to your clients. Let's move on to strategic planning, the next part that you need to focus on for you know your first 30 days start setting short-term goals and they've got to be smart you know uh, specific measurable achievable and relevant and time bound get those in place for your first 30 days don't have to be too ambitious but these goals are going to be your stepping stones for long-term success now as for long-term planning don't worry about it just yet it's only your first 30 days right you can revisit those around the three month mark when you've got a clearer picture of the landscape where the gaps and where the opportunities are and then you can align your longer term plans around your company's objectives and your key accounts needs. Now let's move on to part four, which is communication and relationship building. You need to be clear, you need to be concise, and you need to be responsive. Those are the keys to effective communication and building trust with clients. Remember, every interaction is an opportunity to strengthen your client relationship. This is where you transform from a service provider to a trusted advisor by diving deep into understanding clients' needs, and their motivators. Go beyond surface level business goals to explore their challenges, decision making processes, underlying motivations. All this kind of stuff is going to help you tailor your approach and make your solutions indispensable. Now the job's not done there because even though it's only your first 30 days, you still need to think about measuring and adjusting your approach. You've got to be very highly tuned to what works and what doesn't work. So regularly track your progress against your goals to identify what, where you need to pivot, what you need to adapt, and maybe what you need to stop doing. Now remember to be adaptable. That is gonna be your superpower in the key account management universe. Your ability to pivot based on client feedback and your own performance data is crucial. So you gotta be perceptive and responsive to those signals when they come up. Now this kind of flexibility, when you couple it with your understanding of clients and goals, it's gonna make you more than a key account manager, right? It's gonna make you a visionary. All right, well, that's a wrap here. As we've covered the essentials of understanding your role, forging strong relationships internally and with your clients, starting to think strategically but you don't have to go too long term, you know, think about just what you can control in the first 30 days, effective communication and staying adaptable and flexible. Now, these are more than just tips, right? These are your toolkits for excelling in key account management. Now, if you are ready to dive a bit deeper, you can access the full course, the Key Account Management Essentials Toolkit, the suite of strategies and all the other templates and bits and pieces that come with it by visiting thecamclub.com. It is packed with comprehensive content designed to propel your CAM career forward. Now, before you go, grab your free one page mastering your first 30 days summary and action plan. It's in the pinned comment and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hey, you might want to turn on notifications so you don't miss the next nine videos in this series. Your path to cam mastery is unfolding and I'm here to guide you every step of the way. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video.